Good evening. Welcome to Sacred Heart St. Joseph Church. Please stand and join us as we sing 696, Sing of Mary, number 696. Good evening. And we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We pray, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, who by the immaculate conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat. All the days of your life, I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all living things. The word of the Lord. Remember 
Our second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. And the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Just want to begin by saying a word of thanks to all of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to spend some time before the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament during this Mass and as we celebrate Mary's feast day. You know what I've discovered through the years is there's some people that get this feast day kind of confused. They think it's how Jesus 
was immaculately conceived by his parents, Mary and Joseph. And although that's true, we believe that, that's not what this feast day is about. This feast day is about how Mary was conceived by her parents, St. Anne and St. Joachim, that God had a plan for her right from the very beginning, and he preserved her from original sin. She was kept pure. She's that pure vessel by which God comes into the world. And so we ask that question, what can we learn from Mary? Well, I think what we can learn from Mary is her example to follow God's will in our lives and to do it with joy. You know, it's one thing to do God's will. It's another thing to do his will with joy. And we pray that in our hearts, we may capture that same spiritual joy that Mary had in serving the Lord. So let's ask for her intercession to draw us closer to Christ Jesus, her son. That's Mary's point. She's always pointing us towards a deeper relationship with her son. So let's pray for her intercession for that intention. And let's stand now for our petitions. Take a moment of silence and offer all those prayers that we hold in our hearts at this time. And for all these petitions, let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those who have died, especially for the deceased members of the Lindsay family and the soul of Paul Duncan, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. And good and loving Father, hear the prayers we offer you today. In your love and mercy, answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please join in our offertory hymn number 698, Ave Maria number 698.
And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. I bless your hands. And graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults and grant this through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in the company of the choirs of saints and angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy O Lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph and James, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, of all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Jim, thanks. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and I shall.
mercy, hear your people, gentle one. Help of Christians, friends of sinners, how we need your prayer for us. We the children born of Eden, grown to wonder from your Son, Mother Mary, in your mercy, pray for And let us pray. May the sacrament we've received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserve Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our closing hymn is number 202, Hail Holy Queen, number 202.